In January of 2019, an interaction between Covington teens in Make America Great Again hats and a Native American elder went viral on social media. It quickly became an international headline covered by nearly every news outlet. But the teen at the center of the video sued for defamation and won. Now a Kentucky native filmmaker is releasing a movie. Evening Edition's Michael Burke has more with the filmmaker. For filmmaker Jonathan Schroeder of Cincinnati, this one was personal. Once you go to that school, you're connected to that community for the rest of your life. So, you know, I knew, I knew, I knew that I knew some people involved in the incident. We all saw the images from that incident from January of 2019 in Washington, D.C., where students from Northern Kentucky's Covington Catholic High School attended a rally for two separate causes. The first blitz of social media coverage painted the boys in a horrible light. Two years later, Mr. Schroeder's film, The Boys in the Red Hats, works to uncover more of what really happened that day. The way it was reported in the press, or initially, it was these boys purposefully went out of their way to interrupt the Indigenous People's March. The full video was released showing what really happened. Left-wing activists approached the teens first. One boy turned and said, what just happened there? And I said, you were being baited. Schroeder admits he isn't perfect. He, like most of the rest of America, got baited too into believing what he saw at first. I was completely wrong. I should have known better to judge these kids right off the bat, but unfortunately right. did, and I went on an emotion, emotional journey. A journey that included a deep dive into Nathan Phillips' background. He's the man who's playing a drum in the face of student Nick Sandman. It created the indelible image from that day's events. He does have a history of uh, criminality in his background. Um, he has lied to the press before. Those are topics that Schroeder covers at great length in the film, even attempting to get Mr. Phillips to share his side of those events. No, no funny questions, no trick questions. So what then set these wheels in motion outside the Lincoln Memorial that day? Was it the demonstrative nature of the boys? Well, to those who know the CovCath culture, that wasn't anything out of the ordinary. That's perfectly normal behavior. That's what we did at Covington Catholic when we faced adversity. So maybe the confrontation was set off by what Schroeder calls one of the more divisive political statements we've ever had. Those red hats that gave this film its name. You have this chaos, you have the chanting, you have the MAGA hats. So I guess, you know, Nathan Phillips was drawn to it for some reason. And I, I do think the the MAGA caps had a lot to do with it. Misinformation had a lot to do with it, too. I believe the liberal elite media flat out character assassinated those boys. Schroeder feels confident the boys in the red hats will uncover what really happened and more of what didn't happen, which is what made this so personal. To answer your question, um, I, I, I don't think I would have done this had I not gone to Covenant Catholic. Michael Burke, LEX 18 News.